Hi folks, I just want to step through a quick example of a C program that processes a command line. It's a main program, it's got argc, and then it's got a, an array of car stars called argv. That's sort of the standard format. And what should happen is when the thing gets executed, whatever the command line arguments are, will get bundled up into this array argv and passed in with a argc telling how many elements there are in the array. Now I've got the uh, the launch configuration set up so that it's going to, the command line will have the executable name as the first item on the command line, and then arguments one, two, and three. So altogether there'll be four. argc should be four, and argv should be pointers to the executable path, and then the strings one, two, and three. So let's give that a try. I'll just go ahead and launch the debugger. And, oh, actually, I don't think I set a breakpoint. I need to set a breakpoint. Let's go back and do that. Uh, maybe initializing I here would be a good place for a breakpoint. So let's try that again. <clears throat> it should break then on line six. There it goes. And then uh, in the debugger, I can use these guys to navigate. So step over. I'll go ahead and step over to call the malloc. Notice that that flashes here. It means that I got a non-null return value from malloc, so my malloc was successful. How much memory did I allocate? Well, I allocated four times the size of a car star, so four string pointers. The argc is four, and I got a pointer to that guy. Now uh, let's go ahead and step through. Uh, I've got both of my, here we go, both the copy and the original array are shown here in the debugger, so I'll just step through, and you can see that it should fill those in. There they go, one at a time. I'm copying those pointers over, 746, 74A, and that's it. Now I'm going to go through and print those things out, and you can see them appearing here on the terminal window. There's the executable path. There's the one. There's the two. And there's the three. So that's the end. Now I'm going to free that memory and then continue. So that's the way it works. Anyway, that shows you how you can use the debugger to watch variables, how to display arrays, um, how to set up the launch.json file to launch a program with particular command line arguments, and generally speaking, how to, uh, how to make this stuff work. So I hope that helps, and I'll talk to you soon.